Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into the NetSuite podcast. I'm Megan O'Brien, co-host of the podcast. We have an incredibly interesting episode on the docket today. Brian Chess, the Senior Vice President of Technology and AI at Oracle NetSuite, is joining us to talk all about NetSuite AI. We talk about Brian's role as a head of AI development at NetSuite, the company's current AI innovations, and where he sees the technology going in the future. With that, let's jump right in because you're not going to want to miss out on this episode. You're listening to the NetSuite Podcast, where we discuss what's happening within NetSuite, why we're doing it, and where we're heading in the future. We'll dive into the details about the software and the people at NetSuite who are behind all the moving parts. We'll also feature customer growth stories, discussing the ups and downs of running a company and how one integrated system can help your business continue to scale. Could you start by giving our listeners an overview of your role and what it is you do for NetSuite? Sure, happy to. Uh, there are two key words in my title. There are technology and AI. So let me unpack both of those. So technology includes everything that has to happen to put NetSuite in the cloud. And that includes the security, reliability, and performance of the NetSuite service. Also NetSuite's technology stack and the way we take advantage of Oracle technologies such as the database and Oracle cloud infrastructure. And also the foundational elements of the NetSuite application. And that includes things like our search and reporting system, the NetSuite platform, including things like SuiteScript, and also the way NetSuite integrates with other systems. So that's all the technology stuff. And then AI is in there too. And we've been working on AI for a long time at NetSuite, but last year we decided it was time to take the disparate pockets of people uh, across NetSuite that were working on AI and put them together into one team. And that team builds some features, but really they're responsible for enabling everybody in NetSuite to do AI work. That's fantastic. And I, I actually want to touch on a part of that. NetSuite has actually been embedding AI throughout the suite for years, uh, like you mentioned. So this isn't necessarily a new part of your role. Could you talk a little bit more about that? Well, it's not new to NetSuite, but it is new to me. So it was really when we formed that central team uh, that, that I got really, really involved. And in the past, I had some people working on AI. They were doing some of those more operational things, but we put them together with the people from our product group so that we really can work on AI end to end. That's fantastic. So what business challenges are you and your team looking to solve using AI? And what type of AI do you think will be most valuable in solving those challenges? Well, you know, when we started talking to customers, when AI really blew up last year, we started talking to customers about what they wanted from AI. And we got a, a very consistent response. And that was people were excited. They were like, this seems like the first time that you can use a computer to write poems. Um, but I'm not in the poetry business. So what is AI supposed to do for me? And so we really tried to hone in on an answer to that and came up with two things. First, uh, provide advice. So AI is good for finding patterns in your data and making recommendations. And an example there is the way we make upsell recommendations. So if you've been working with a customer for a little while, then the system can figure out how that customer is similar to other customers you might have and how your products relate to one another. And then make explicit recommendations about maybe you should try selling this customer this kind of thing. Um, so that's all under the category of advice. And then the second category is assistance. So helping people get things done. And an example there is bill capture. So you can feed NetSuite a PDF and it can turn it into a bill in the system and just eliminate some of the drudgery from getting the work done. So when we look across the suite, we see opportunities actually everywhere across the suite for advice and assistance. And that became kind of our mantra, uh, AI everywhere. Text Enhance is a particularly exciting feature in NetSuite since it uses Gen AI, which is a very hot topic right now. Could you talk a little bit about that capability and really how it came to fruition? That has been a fun one because it is our first generative AI feature. 
And so we're embedding an LLM in certain spots in the suite, primarily in the name of assistance. So it's a productivity tool. It's about being able to fix typos or to expand text or to bring data together from different parts of the suite into one textual description. Uh, it's the fastest we've ever shipped an AI feature. Uh, and that really is about Oracle's partnerships with Cohere and with NVIDIA. We use the Oracle Generative AI service, so it made it really easy for us to consume the, the LLMs um, and get them into the suite. And I think we shipped Text Enhance in about six months. That's amazing. And just such a cool way to capitalize on something that's uh, very, very, I hate to say it, but very in right now. <laughs> 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 it is it is a little bit trendy, but it's also really powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a lot more good stuff coming along those lines, including turning some of the power of generative AI over to our customers. And I'm really excited to see what they're going to build. Now, what do you think is unique about NetSuite's specific approach to AI? I think I'll name three things. I already touched on the, the first one a little bit, and that is we get to build on Oracle technologies, and that's really good. But even bigger than that, we get to leverage an Oracle AI community, or Oracle selling a lot of different AI technology in different forms and in different product groups. And we get to put our heads together and look at what's working, what's not working, what, do pe what works for people and what doesn't. So uh, the power of Oracle is significant there. Second on the list, uh, AI is all about the data. Uh, because we're a suite, we've got just a fantastic view on what's going on inside a business. And that's really just the perfect setting for doing AI, because AI is really good at connecting those disparate data points. So the last thing I think that sets us apart is we see AI as an integral part of the suite. So we're not building an AI version of NetSuite and a no AI version of NetSuite. Uh, AI is really going to be everywhere in the suite and it's going to be embedded deeply in the suite. One of the implications of that is there's no AI upcharge in what we're doing because there's no AI suite and non-AI suite. It's going to be AI everywhere. NetSuite by Oracle, the number one cloud financial system, is everything you need to grow all in one place. Financials, inventory, HR, and more. Make better decisions faster so you can do more and spend less. See how at netsuite.com slash pod. And so for those who maybe aren't familiar with it, um, we've talked about it actually a bit on this podcast, but for anyone who doesn't kind of know the background, how does NetSuite's connection to Oracle benefit our AI initiatives and ultimately our customers? Yeah, we've, we've covered that in a, in a couple of ways, but maybe it does, uh, well, maybe we could talk about Oracle Cloud Infrastructure a little bit because we finished moving all of our customers to OCI last year, and that was a really big milestone for us. It means now we can start leveraging what comes from being part of that public cloud infrastructure. And one of the things is, there's a whole bunch of people building technology that we can now leverage directly. So we don't have to think about, well, what kind of an AI partnership would, would we like? Who's doing the best job here? We just get to consume that because we've got all of those OCI people and resources working for us. So I, I think that's the, the biggest benefit to, to us. Secondly, I think the, that community that I mentioned earlier is a really big thing. Uh, when we get to go talk to other groups who are doing AI work and put our heads together on where AI is headed. And how do you see AI really making a difference and improving business operation and decision making for NetSuite customers? I mean, you gave such a great example with the, the bill capture technology, taking away some of that mundane data entry type stuff. Where else do you do you really see it making a difference? Well, it's really, it, everything comes under those two big headings, uh, um, and that is advice and assistance. So it's about getting into the data, finding connections between different data points and turning them into actionable advice. That's the, the first side. And then assistance is about productivity. It's about how can you get some of the drudgery out of uh, the job? Bill capture is good. Text enhance actually fits under that heading too, because it's about you not having to pick through all of the details in order to figure out what to put in, say, a product description. Just let the system do it for you. 
I think one of the big concerns that we hear from people around AI is around security. Um, what measures are in place to protect and secure data in NetSuite's AI applications? We think with the with where we are in 2024, that the right thing to do is to keep a human in the loop. In other words, don't let the AI go off and make decisions on its own. It can come up with ideas and suggestions and recommendations, but eventually it's a person who clicks submit and says, yes, this is what I want. So human in the loop is an important part of our philosophy. Big picture, what are the biggest challenges in developing AI solutions and how does your team overcome them? I'd say fundamentally, the biggest challenge uh, with AI right now is that the landscape is changing very, very quickly. So things that weren't practical six months ago are working just fine now. And there's a brand new frontier of things that, that we think are coming. Uh, the regulatory landscape is changing quickly too. So people are um, beginning to use AI and think about what they want and what they don't want out of it. Our solution for all of this changing landscape is to engage early and often with our customers. So we're doing a lot of beta releases to early adopters. We're talking to people about what's working for them and what's not. And we're trying to be part of that AI community. What advice would you give to uh, businesses looking to implement AI in their operations right now? Are there any good starting points, best practices? How can they kind of embark on this journey? I think the most important thing to do is to jump in. Uh, unlike some previous technology revolutions, you don't need to be a programmer or a techie to start benefiting. With generative AI, you can tell it what to do with a prompt that's written in English. And so give it a shot and explore areas where you see opportunities. So of the two benefits that I named earlier, insight and assistance, insight might be the easier one to get started with and maybe a little less scary. And NetSuite Analytics Warehouse, I think, is a great example of an insight AI product uh, that NetSuite has, where you bring the data together from NetSuite and potentially from other systems too, put it in one place, and then the AI is really pretty simple. You can say, tell me about this aspect of my data or tell me about that. Uh, and so easy to hunt for insights. I think that's a great place to get started. And so important too, because I think a lot of businesses, they have the data, they're just not sure how to go about actually using it and gaining insights from it. So this seems like a great step in the right direction. I think so. Now, on the other hand, how would you make the case for AI to businesses that are hesitant to implement it? Well, I'll tell you one thing that we learned in the process of implementing text enhance. I told you we were engaging with, with uh, beta users a, a lot on AI features and text enhance is a good example uh, of that. And one of the things we learned very early on is that we needed an undo button. There had to be a way to go back. And the reason there had to be a way to go back is so that people would trust the system with going forward. We needed to enable some of that experimentation to make it okay for somebody to try something without risking the work that they were doing. So I would say, look for those opportunities. Look for opportunities where it's gonna be okay if you don't get exactly what you expected the first time around. And where can our listeners learn more about the AI that is embedded in NetSuite right now? Well, it's pretty easy. Just Google up NetSuite AI and at the top of the list, there will be. Perfect. And we'll be sure to put that some helpful links in the show notes as well. Brian, it was so great to have you on. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Megan. That brings us to the end of another great episode. It's so rewarding to hear about the huge moves NetSuite is making around AI straight from the person heading up the initiative. Definitely not an opportunity we get every day, so I'm so glad we got to tap into his expertise for a bit. A huge thanks to Brian for taking some time out of his busy schedule to chat with us. And as always, a big thanks to our wonderful editing team over at Oracle and to all of you for tuning in. If you want more episodes just like this one, make sure you subscribe to our channel and give us a rating and review. Until next time. You just listened to the NetSuite podcast. 
Be sure to tune in every week with more NetSuite developments, stories, and insights into the benefits of one integrated system to help you run your business.